Hi everyone, it's Peter from the Education Department, Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium with another episode of Zoo From Home. I'm here at the home studio and just like you, I finished watching that video of the African pygmy goats, which have always been one of my favorite animals to go and pet and interact with during my zoo visits. I asked a lot of people questions about goats and I kept getting asked two of the same questions. Everyone wanted to know, do goats really eat tin cans? And are those goats at the zoo pregnant? Turns out I could answer those two questions together. So if you think goats really eat tin cans, give me your best goat sound. Remember goats say ba. Ready? Ba. You're right. I looked it up. Goats really can eat tin cans. They probably shouldn't. It's not good for them. But goats are something called a grazer. They eat pretty much anything. Leaves and sticks and twigs and bark from trees. And sometimes they'll even eat a can. And the reason they do that is because they have a special kind of stomach. I want you to hold out your fingers for how many stomachs you have. All right, everyone, hold out your fingers. How many stomachs do you have? If you're holding out one finger, you got it right. Give yourself a pat on the back. People have one stomach. All right, let's try this again. Now, hold out your fingers. How many stomachs does a goat have? If you're holding out four fingers, you got that right. Give yourself another pat on the back. Goats have four different stomachs. So they eat a whole bunch of food all at once. And then there's little bacteria that help them digest the food and then they chew it up, they chew their cud, and then they swallow it and they digest it again. They have a really big stomach. That's why they look pregnant. That first stomach where the bacteria are is super big. It's so big, it could fit this whole gallon. It could fit this second gallon. It could fit this quart. And it could fit this quart. It can fit 10 quarts. That's why goats look so, so fat because they have these gigantic stomachs to eat all that food. All right, now let's talk about the habitat where you might find an African pygmy goat. I'm going to put up a picture and I want you to say the letter where you think a goat would live. If you said A, you got it right. Give yourself another pat on the back. Goats live on farms. They're a domestic species. That means they've been changed from the wild ancestor through years and years of breeding of the goats that are the best working with people and the best for people's needs so that they don't resemble those wild animals anymore. And domestic animals wouldn't survive well in the wild. Our game today is going to be to decide if an animal is a wild animal or a domestic animal. And you're going to show me your answer by doing W for wild and D for domestic. Here's the first picture. This is called an Ibex. If you said wild, you got that right. An Ibex is the wild ancestor to a modern goat. All right, next animal. That is another wild animal. Even though that lion cub is cute, lions are a wild animal. All right, next animal. That is domestic. That's an adorable kitty cat. Cats are changed from their ancestors. All right, next animal. Horses are domestic. They are changed from their wild ancestors. Next animal. That's a cow. Cows are also domestic. Next animal. That is a macaw. Macaws are wild animals. Even though people have them as pets, they are taking animals out of the wild. And at the zoo, we don't recommend parrots as pets because they can live up to 
80 years and you can't commit to take care of an animal for 80 years. All right, next animal, a clownfish. A clownfish is a wild animal. Next animal, that is a guinea pig. A guinea pig is domestic. They're very different than the guinea pigs there might be in the wild. That's a good choice for a pet. Next animal, what the heck is this? That is domestic. That's an animal called a zebu. It's kind of like a cow. All right, last animal. That is another wild animal. That is a box turtle. Like the macaw, it's not a very good choice for a pet because it can live to be 100 years old. All right, hopefully you've all downloaded already our do it at home activities. We're gonna go and we're gonna practice one of those activities over here in just a second. Hi everyone, I'm back with my daughter Yelena to do one of the at-home activities. I've got some tape and a measuring tape and we put a line down and we are gonna see if we can jump as far as a goat. So first, I am gonna go and then Yelena's gonna go. So I'm gonna get on all fours I'm gonna jump like a goat and see how far I can go. All right, I made it to here. So I'm gonna put a line down for where I made it. My turn. Okay. All right, I want you to get ready, set, jump like a goat. All right, and you made it this far. All right, now let's measure with the tape measure. So. Do you want to help pull this out to as far as your line went? And how, how far does that say? Oh, it's on my side. Read how far it says on my side. Or you could read it. Can you read this number? Forty? Forty. You jumped forty inches. Whoa. Great job. A goat can jump four feet or 48 inches. You almost jumped as far as a goat. Look, the line is farther than yours. It's farther than mine too. I bet if we practiced, we could go as far as goats do. Or maybe farther. Or maybe farther. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow with more educational activities, more animal encounters, be sure to share your journey using the hashtag, this is how we zoo. Have a great day. Bye everyone.